Hi everyone, it's Melissa from 70 Acres Studio. I wanted to come on quickly tonight and just do a very short video because I'm putting together a, um, a birthday envelope for Brenda. Brenda Gibson or Brenda G Designs. And so I, I actually did an acrylic pour on the envelope. Let me switch over to the, there we go, that's better. So I did a little bit of an acrylic pour on here and doodled some hearts in it. And um, my daughter-in-law, Carrie, had given me this amazing chicken stamp. And it's just so gorgeous. And of course I had to use my new uh, Dymo because that's, that's always a blast. I remember having this thing when I was a kid, boy, and I loved it. So now they have all different color tapes on it. And the inside is just filled with some painty papers that I've made. And she had, Brenda had mentioned, oh, and I also am giving her one of my uh, acrylic pours that I've done on cardboard. Uh, I was just using up some extra paint the last time I was doing a pour. And these are just uh, some painty papers that I've done on recent shows and uh, I thought I'd toss those in and she mentioned a card and I don't really do cards I, I haven't sent a card in probably close to two decades um, I don't I'm not real fancy you know frou-frou I don't know how to put a card together but anyway <coughs> I enjoyed making these uh, these zines, these folded magazines, and so I said, okay, I'll make her a zine, and I did one of my original chicken drawings. I doodled it um, today at work. That was the original, and I came home, and I, I don't have any cardstock uh, other than plain white. But I do have this massive package of construction paper in all different colors. So I pulled that out and I cut down a square and I, I drew the chicken on here. And uh, she's holding a, a balloon and a birthday cake. And she's got a little hat on. So that's her. And in the pockets, I haven't done anything fancy. Um, again, my daughter-in-law and my son gave me um, some sticker books. Uh, as part of my birthday present so I wanted to share some of them some of the I mean they're really cute they have all sorts of crazy stuff on them so I just cut up a few pages and I stuck those in there and I went through my um, communication arts magazines and I found some images and uh, <laughs> so I just tried to see you know find stuff that I thought was funny and I don't like clowns at all. They skeeve me out. But uh, I saw this one and he looked sad. He looked like he was looking for a piece of cake. So I stuck a piece of cake sticker on here and I wrote, is that cake? And then um, giving her one of my ATCs. That's one of the first ones I ever drew. So that's, um, that's that. And the you know, more stickers. And then I saw this picture of a sloth and I said, oh my God, he's so cute. So I said, okay, now I need to find an image that kind of can catch his focus. He's looking off in this direction. And I saw this image of Little Red Riding Hood running through the woods with her basket. So I stuck a cake um, sticker over the, her basket and then I drew little focus lines like he's looking at the cake and the wolf was just a black silhouette so I drew in some teeth and um, an eye for that and again just more of these stickers and then I found this and I just thought it was hysterical and I so I stamped the end on his rear end and then I found this one and I said, oh, she looks like a grumpy old lady. And uh, so I, I put some cake. She was hauling a cup of tea, so I put, put some cake on it. Um, 
so that's going to go in, in the package and I think that's about done um, it was just cute and I used I actually used a piece of wallpaper for this let's see if I can show you no you really there's no you can just barely see that the text in here about the the wallpaper um, I had taken apart a wallpaper book a couple of them actually and this was just this piece was just the perfect size so I just cut it up and turned it into a zine and that's about all she wrote this is construction paper it's not going to last I really need to um, get my hands on some multicolored um, uh, cardstock for these types of things because I don't right like I said I have I have some white laying around somewhere I don't know where it is but anyway so that's it that's uh she's getting one of my original chickens and uh you know some painty papers and whatnot and i hope i hope she enjoys it um i so appreciate you know her uh support of my channel and you know she's always she's always in all my live streams and everything and um uh, that's that's the the hope is that once i hit 1000 subscribers um I will start awarding prizes at least once a week to somebody in the live stream chat room. So pimp my channel out to all your friends and on your social media and uh, start, you know, when you're watching the videos, if you're watching the live streams, please comment in the chat room because that's the only way I know that you're there. And the Nightbot app that I'm using to um, manage my chat rooms uh, has a feature where I can do a random winner so I was going to start using that and the only way that Nightbot knows you're there is if you chat so pop in and say hi and uh, if you're there when I do the drawing then uh, you know you'll be the lucky winner it'll be some little something something that I've done while on the live stream you know it could be um, it could be some of these painty papers. Uh, it could be some of these flowers that I've made. Uh, you know, a, uh, a pouring on cardboard or maybe, you know, some kind of, you know, cardstock or ATC. It'll be something. Just a little something to say, you know, I appreciate your support of my channel. And, you know, I just want to give back a little to, to the group. Um... And I'm also starting a Facebook group. I, I've actually created it and I'm just trying to learn my way around it and then I'll be launching that. So that'll be uh, for, you know, for everybody that supports my channel. So on that note, I am going to get out of here. I am going to get to bed. So that's it, guys. I just wanted to share this little uh, zine that I made for Brenda. And I'll talk to you on Sunday's live stream at 7 o'clock New York time. Have a great night, folks. Hi, everyone. It's Melissa from 70 Acre Studio. I hope you enjoyed this video, and I'd be grateful if you'd please give me a thumbs up and a kind comment down below. Please share my channel with your friends and on your social media, and please subscribe. When you subscribe, please click the alarm bell so you'll be notified when I post a new video. Thanks for helping grow my channel. So long now.